Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful advancements in modern battlefield strike capability, Army surface-to-surface -surface missiles, particularly the precision strike missile, known as PRSM, and the launcher system that fires it, HIMARS. These two components together are changing how nations prepare for long-range combat, and Australia is among the few countries actively integrating them into its defense system. The PRSM is a next-generation, surface-to-surface -surface missile developed by the United States as a replacement for the aging Army Tactical Missile System, also known as ATACMS. Designed for high precision and long range, the PRSM can strike targets well beyond 500 km, with future upgrades aiming to exceed 1,000 km. That means it can take out enemy command posts, air defense systems, missile launchers, or key infrastructure before they ever pose a threat. What makes it even more effective is its speed and accuracy, which gives armies the ability to strike fast, with minimal collateral damage. It's fast, mobile, and deadly. To deploy these missiles, armies use the HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. HIMARS is a lightweight, truck-mounted rocket launcher that can fire six rockets or one large missile like the PRSM in quick succession. Its mobility is one of its greatest strengths. Unlike traditional missile launchers that require heavy logistical support, HIMARS can be airlifted and deployed quickly in rough terrain. It's already been battle-proven in multiple theaters, offering quick, shoot-and-scoot, capability, meaning it can fire and move before being targeted in return. In conflict zones like Ukraine, HIMARS has shown exactly how it can change the tempo of war by disabling key enemy infrastructure from a safe distance. Australia recognized the importance of this missile system early. In 2023, it signed a major defense deal with the United States to acquire 42 HIMARS launchers along with hundreds of PRSMs. The first of these systems are expected to be operational by 2026, with live tests already being conducted successfully. During one of the first Australian trials at Mount Bundy, the PRSM hit its target after flying more than 300 kilometers, demonstrating its potential to become a cornerstone of Australia's long-range strike capability. But it's not just about buying foreign technology. Australia is also stepping into missile manufacturing, with plans to begin local production of guided multiple launch rocket system munitions, or GMLRS, and eventually PRSMs as well. This move not only ensures supply during emergencies but also builds sovereign industrial capability, providing jobs and expertise within the country. It's part of a broader strategy to make Australia more self-reliant in defence. In an era where long-range precision strike is becoming a necessity rather than a luxury, the combination of PRSM and HIMARS stands out. It gives armies the power to shape the battlefield from afar, disrupt enemy plans, and respond with speed and precision. For countries like Australia, investing in these technologies means securing a place among modern military powers ready to protect their borders and interests in a rapidly shifting world. Thanks for watching Ultracar. If you want to learn more about modern military systems and cutting-edge technology, don't forget to subscribe and stay updated.